r slash ask reddit what innocent item gets suspicious if you own too much of it i saw a tifu post about a guy who bought a bunch of pressure cookers on sale to give to friends as gifts turned out that set off some anti-terrorism flags so i'm gonna go with pressure cookers i mean i understand the ct flag they got super paranoid about it immediately after the boston bombing friend got called into hr because he was looking at them during his lunch break he was looking at them for a wedding present oh man in the months after boston bombing it became impossible to own or operate a pressure cooker without being looked at suspiciously indians are prolific users of pressure cookers and for us it's great for one pot dishes you can even transport food in it after cooking cause it's spill proof then reheat at destination and serve directly out of it i got a few suspicious glances from people who saw me carrying it but never had the law called on me dot I would not want to be a brown person transporting a pressure cooker in the months after the Boston bombing. My mom used to do the same thing whenever we went to family for dinner, were Cuban and also used it a ton. She literally owned a dozen pressure cookers, hoarding mentality, and inherited several from family, until we forced her to throw the majority of them away. Cough syrup. Ah yes mom I have 30 bottles of Tussin for my chronic cough don't judge broken leg just rub the tussin on it and when the tussin runs out just throw some water in the bottle and shake it up mo tussin houston has entered the chat clocks either all exactly synced or all way off when i was an undergrad me and my two friends lived together in a house whenever we saw a yard sale we'd stop and buy any reasonably priced clocks We'd then hang the clocks on the walls of the house in asymmetrical places, and we'd leave them on whatever time they were at even if they were dead. So our house had nearly a hundred clocks after four years, all of which said different times and several of which made faint ticking sounds. My roommate who was the least enthused about this decor would wake up after a particularly drunk night hungover as hell and just scream angrily what duck I'm time is it, as he walked from room to room. Anyway, when we moved out, we had our own yard sale with only clocks for sale. People thought we were freaks but we sold about half of them. Sometimes I still hear the unsynchronized clicking today when I lay down at night and close my eyes. That sounds like tinnitus but with extra steps. Mayo my stepdad was a woodworker and his expertise was making clocks. There must be 25 of them at my parents house. I saw what I would describe as a suspicious amount of peanut butter in the bed of a truck once. I think 2 or 3 12 pack cases. Just need 2 or 3 12 pack cases of jelly to act as an alibi. Drain cleaner. Pictures of a person. But it's okay if the person is Nick Cage. Cardboard cutouts. You have one cardboard cutout and it's a novelty decoration. But you have a room full of them and it gets a little weird. Perfect for when your parents accidentally leave you home for the holidays, and you need to make it look like you're having a party to deter burglars. Kevin? Kevin. When I was in my early 20s I had about 15 cardboard cutouts. My GF at the time worked in Gamestop so I used to get the cool ones. Me and my friends would set them up around the house when we were drunk, then bust in and go through the house shooting them with airsoft rifles. Good times toilet paper you hoarding ducks i needed tp and paper towel today in the regular course of me running out of such things i felt like i was getting judgmental looks walking home with a regular sized pack of each just feel lucky you were able to find any i'm down to two rolls and all the supermarkets here are out try walgreens or cvs that's where i got mine yesterday a lot of people don't think to check there i found success at a gas station Nobody thinks to buy toilet paper at the gas station. I worked at a pool supply store. They sell an extra strong peroxide as an alternative to chlorine. IDKY but we had to report large purchases to the FBI. Reported this guy after we used his customer info to search his address on Google Earth. It was rural and had a few different outbuildings. Seemed sketchy. FBI got back to us a few weeks later. He was using the chemical to clean animal skulls he bought from a slaughterhouse. Then he carved the skulls and sold them. The FBI lady said he showed her his whole process and it was pretty impressive. Peroxide with acetone makes a very unstable high explosive that doesn't show up on the common nitrate based tests. Bleach. Can I have 12 bottles of bleach please? 
Faisal. Why is she got her hands on her face? Kosh's got a beard. I bought a lot of cleaning supplies a few weeks ago. The coronavirus wasn't well known so it looked like I needed to clean up a lot of dead bodies. I also learned that buying a lot of isopropanol won't get you carded but one beer or caffeine pills will get you carded. Children. Depends if they are your own or someone else's children. Well, they're mine now. FBI has joined the chat. Freezers. Not if you have a farm. 3 freezers and 2 big fridges. Where else would you put all the meat? Cook em all and store them in my belly. I would say scissors. But that would be self incriminating. So single socks. If they are the same type does it matter? Is there a difference between left and right socks? Dolls. My grandma used to have about 70 porcelain dolls old creepy ones. God bless her but when she passed we donated them to the dump. As creepy as they are those may have been worth finding a collector for. Toilet paper. Okay, seriously, does anyone know why toilet paper, specifically, is the one item everyone is hoarding like their lives depend on it? Of all things, I just, I don't understand, why? My pet theory is it is a chain reaction. A few crazies bought up tons of TP thinking they need to prepare for the apocalypse. Then others see the stock on the shelves disappear and buy what they can since they might be gone the next time they visit the store. So now TP is so scarce when new stock arrives people buy them up like they are made of gold. Lube. Mirrors for sure. I've been in an elderly person's house where there was literally too many of them to count and it just feels weird. My mum has over 40 mirrors. I didn't really notice it but a year ago when me and some buddies helped my parents move. They kept on joking about it oh here's yet another mirrors. Are your parents worried about vampires or just vain? Oh god. I didn't notice how many mirrors my mom kept in the house until I was a teenager with acne all over my face. Canned air dusters. Some people like to get high off them. It's not illegal. Beach. Towley. Pseudoephedrine. What is that? The good cold medicine. It's also used to make meth. For me water. My neighbors had well water and would dry up. They asked if they could run a hose and put it in their well they would pay what was owed. Did this a lot last summer no big deal they paid. Then they bought a big above ground pool. Filled it for them they always paid my part was always around the same so I wasn't bent out of shape. One day the water meter guy knocked with an officer wanting to know why I was using so much water. I explained showed the men a hoses to reach my neighbors and they were there to help explain. They explained to me that much water usage was throwing a red flag. So they were sent out to investigate to make sure no marijuana growing was happening. Plot twist. Your neighbors were growing weed. Plot twist. The water meter guy was looking for a supplier. Mayonnaise. Just trying to learn a new instrument. Cash. If you have too much cash it's automatically an assumption that you traffic drugs in some way. I weighed tables and used to live in my car I got pulled over and the cops searched my car and found a few months worth of tips. I already was homeless I figured I would save up a buy a house. The cops lifted my mattress and found 15. 000 in small bills had my entire vehicle torn apart and not put back together and it took like a month to get my cash back. Seriously cops are so shitty to you when you're homeless. Hand sanitizer bottles. What? Are you fapping with it? JK. Don't do that. Don't kink shame me. Dog cages. Duct tape. I'm just practicing my kidnapping skills I cannot actually kidnapping people yet. Fallout has taught me adhesive is rare in a post-apocalyptic world. Wives. Fertilizer. You went out 6 hours to buy a money counter and you come back with a semi-conscious Gloria and a bag of fertilizer. Alarm bells are ringing willy. Ropes and stools. Once I saw a couple who were clearly on meth buying a shit ton of baby formula at the grocery store. At the time I was like shit. That's sad. They have a kid and they can't breast feed it because they're on drugs. Maybe a week later I saw a post on Facebook about how many drugs are cut with baby formula. Which is why it's a high risk item for large scale retail theft. So, baby formula. Skulls. I think you should have two at most. And I'm talking about conjoined twins. Others should have one. And none of you're talking about ones outside of flesh. 
candles. 1 to 2. You like good smells and a little atmosphere. More than 5. You try to summon spirits on your free time. Not me but my friend. He has eczema like severe case. He has to get Vaseline and like huge quantities. He's also gay so everyone looks at him weird buying a tub of Vaseline. But he just shrugs it off. LOL. Pull up bars. Ropes. And stools. And if someone finds it say it's exactly what it looks like and I blame you for it. Cucumbers and bananas. Hey these math questions won't make themselves. Toenails. Cats. Stimpax. Potassium nitrate. Great for fertilizing your plants in small quantities. Or making things go boom. Ah and now I'm on a list. I'm sure it's discourages public knowledge as TV never says it. Handcuffs. For a number of reasons I'm not sure I'd call this an innocent item. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price. Bru